Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mega Constructs unboxing and review video. So it has been a while. Uh, we were all anticipating the new sets. So Mega has released, uh, this is the first set from the new Black Ops 4 game that has been released. Uh, I purchased this off of Amazon for $14.99. It was a pre-order, I actually pre-ordered this about three months ago. Uh, it was just delivered. Uh, as checking this morning, it shows they do have these in stock. So at the time of this video, these are available for purchase online. Uh, the set includes 105 pieces. As you can see in front of you, there are four specialists. So this is the first time that uh, Mega Constructs has released a battle pack that has specialists in it or named characters. So in packaging, so I'll take a look at first, uh, Mega has gone to a window packaging style for their battle packs, which I actually really like. Uh, I've been collecting these for a long time. Um, and for the battle packs, because you're not really getting a lot besides the figures, uh, you know, they were typically still coming in those box forms. So it, you know, there wasn't really a lot of, um, I don't know. It just, it, it, I, you know, it had nice box art, but I really like the style of this window packaging. So you can see all four specialists, you got Prophet, Ruin, Nomad, and Ajax. On the bottom, you have their weapons. And then at the very end, you have still some nice display art of showing, uh, the figures as well as the, uh, Black Ops 4 standoff and the QR code. Uh, on the back, it uh, shows a nice little uh, display art and then the accessories that include. On the bottom are some of the other um, figures in the line. So these have, at least in my neck of the woods, they haven't been released. I've seen um, I've seen the Pyro Dude uh, on eBay, but I haven't been able to see him locally or uh, through Amazon. Uh, so we'll take a look at Ruin first. So out of the figures, this was actually the one that I was most excited about. Um, unfortunately, and I talked about this in uh, my video with uh, the the Black Ops 4 raid with Nomad, uh, where it came with Nomad and the quad. Uh, they did a really phenomenal job with the paint application for the figures' faces and the new molds. So I mean, if you can, I know it's kind of hard to pick this up but they have painted on his tattoos from the game, so these are accurate, to the side of his face, right? So I'm gonna pull down his, um, let me see if I can get that. So he, they've got his beard all painted on, it's really nice, they've done a really nice job. My only gripe with this figure is the pinhole eyes. So for the longest time, <laughs> Omega, has had kind of a divide in their um, distribution lines as Halo has gone to uh, pinhole eyes for their figures for a few years now. Uh, and Mega, for whatever reason, continue to let Call of Duty have the painted on eyes, which I've always preferred. I like it better. I think it looks cleaner. Um, whatever reason, with the new 2019 sets, at least with the new molds, they are doing pinhole eyes. So Ruin, Prophet, and Nomad all have pinhole eyes. Not a big fan of it. Uh, besides that though, some of the other additional equipment on uh, Ruin. So the scarf's not new. He's got an older style um, bulletproof vest. This shoulder piece, I don't I don't collect the Destiny lines, uh, so I don't know if that's a reused part, but this is the first time, at least to my knowledge, that um, Call of Duty has used any type of shoulder armor. Uh, and then with the inclusion of the new belt system, so it's got the straps around the side. It's really nicely, uh, really really nicely um molded it's in that kind of green color they did a really good job with ruin he's uh definitely probably one of my favorites out of this set uh next one up is profit so profit uh they did a battle pack about a year ago where uh it was like the assault weapons crate where people kind of speculated that that was supposed to be profit from black ops 3 as it kind of looked like it because the character was an african-american in the package but uh, they have since announced that this is their version of Prophet uh, from Black Ops 4. This is how he looks in Black Ops 4, as well as all of these, all of these characters. They don't look as they do in Black Ops 3. But um, he's got a, again, I don't know if it's Destiny, if it's a reused part, but to my knowledge, this is a newer style chest piece. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, one thing that's interesting to say, though, he's got a grenade belt, but it is too large, so it hangs it's just it's weird it's i don't know if mine just got stretched out or if that's how they always come um on package 
they show it basically having looped up top on both of these pegs, front and back, and then it's supposed to you know drape across, but it doesn't do that. It looks terrible. Um, then with his face mold too, um, I mean, it's not a bad job uh, that they've done. I think the only thing that my profits kind of suffer from, so the eyebrows area, I don't know if it's like wear marks uh, because they've kind of extended out, but it looks as though it just kind of, I've got like some plastic wear marks or that could be some excess plastic on my character. So yours could be different. Um, so I, I'd say there's a little bit of quality control issues with these figures, but not bad. Uh, next up is Nomad. So Nomad is in a different uh, like kind of paint character scheme than he um, was with the, the quad set that he was released. So he was in an olive drab kind of color, which is more typical his style. And this one, he's got a, uh, for his uh, torso piece, he's got like a black upper or like a matte black kind of upper with a red um, finish for his chest. And now it's hard to tell on camera right now, but this is actually dual molded. So that red that's underlying halfway through his vest, that's one piece on his torso that they've actually, um, they've dual molded for the color wise. So that's pretty neat. Um, Nomad's face hasn't changed, still looks good um, from his you know last version. If you're new to this figure, check out that video. It's more of an in-depth look at him. Um, he comes with you know the War Machine from Battery, which was kind of a weird choice. But I guess you know essentially if you if you played Black Ops Three, that could kind of be considered his hive cannon or whatnot. So um, imagination is up to you. Uh, last up is Ajax, and so I think they did a really good job with Ajax. Uh, they included his large shield, which is a reused piece. They've used this a few different times, but it fits him. Uh, this is one of his specials in the game. He also comes with a flashbang, which he's also known for having that nine bang. Uh, unfortunately, he's not. He doesn't have a like machine pistol included with him, uh, which would have been really neat. But uh, Ajax has an older style. This is like a Black Ops Three style uh, chest piece. He's got the newer um, belt piece. He's got then red upper pants and with like a new, I'm pretty sure that's a new uh, boot mold, at least to my knowledge, for these figures, which look really, really nice. Um, so that's, that's really neat. They've used a lot of really new pieces uh, and molds with these figures. What's really cool about Ajax, and I'll get close-ups for this, is he's got tattoos on both of his arms, and they've done a really good job um, with painting these on, and you know, like having it be game accurate. So uh, it's kind of that attention to detail that Mega always does. That always just kind of sets me a, apart for why I love collecting these figures, because when you think that there's nothing else that they can do to improve upon, they you know provide this which looks really flippin' nice, to be honest. Like I know on camera, it's hard to tell these details, but um, it's, a, it's a really nice, uh, crisp paintwork they've done. Uh, on his face, however, there is a little bit of paint smudging. So as you can see, like kind of that band on top uh, from his goggles, there's some paint that's kind of botched over towards his hairline. There's something kind of weird going on with his hairline just I don't know if it's the figure or whatnot. I've looked at a few different boxes, but they have like these kind of white accent lines through his hair. And in the game, he's bald or he has a shaved head. So he doesn't have hair in the first place. So I don't really get what they're going for with this. Um, but overall, really nice figure. Uh, so besides having, um, you know, these figures, there was a, an additional shotgun that came with it that's older a olive drab backpack, a crate that had a few accessories. So this included some of the muzzle attachment pieces. We had a few different grenades, and then there was an extra um, knee pad for Ruin. So things that I like out of the set, so this was actually relatively a cheap, very cheap way um, that Mega usually hasn't gone for uh, to get four named characters. So that, that's awesome, right? If you are a big fan of Black Ops 4 or just, you know, wanting to have named characters from the series, this is a great way to get a bunch of them at a relatively cheap price. You know, if you were even looking at the Heroes line, you're essentially getting an extra figure for less, you know, because you have to pay $5 at least 
per a figure in the Heroes line, whereas you're getting four of these for $15. So this is a really good deal for what you're getting. Uh, my only gripes are that you have four specialists and none of them come with their actual specialist weapon. Ajax kind of, in a sense, but he doesn't have his machine pistol, right? So, so Ruin, if you play Ruin, if you know who Ruin is, he's known for his gravity spikes. Uh, that was for Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. It's carried over to like one gravity spike. It would have been neat to have him included with his specialist weapon. Same thing with Prophet. Um, you know, he's known for his Tempest. It's like an electrical charge rifle. Would have been really cool to have him included with that. Uh, Nomad has mesh mines in this version. He had a hive gun in the first one. So I guess you can kind of use the, the war machine that they package with battery in that sense. Um, for that purpose and then ajax at least he has a flashbang but again that's not a new piece right that's that's something that we've already seen it would have been neat since they're you know had the inclusion of his shield to have him come with his uh automatic machine pistol that could have actually hooked into the um shield because that's that's what he does right so he has this shield that has basically a slot in here that he can punch his pistol through so he can have you know, full cover up while he's still hit firing and shooting people. So that would have been a really, really, really neat inclusion. Um, but I get that, you know, they can only do so much. What I will say, there's a lot of new parts here. There's new face molds for three of the figures. Uh, with that being said, there are new chest molds and shoulder pieces uh, for a few of them. So overall, this is a really, really good buy. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I don't, you know, this, I've you know, gone back and forth kind of um, with quality control on Mega's um, aspect with their figures. Uh, last year, I, I kind of suffered from, with the uh, the cargo truck and the uh, World War II Higgins boat, the figure quality out of those were very cheap. They like fell apart, a few of them broke. I was really disappointed. Um, these don't appear to have those problems. So they, they are very well done. This is a very, you know, very good figures. Um, and it's a really nice inclusion of accessories. For example, like the weapon that Ruin has right here, we haven't seen this for a few years. So this was one of the weapons that was initially packaged with Black Ops 3. So you're getting that. So there's a lot of really cool things that ha like are in this set, uh, and I can't recommend that enough. Uh, there's always room for improvement. I would say probably the biggest struggle right now is that uh, with Mega's distribution and you know Target and Kmart and a lot of these stores not carrying Call of Duty specifically, um, places like Walmart, which is the only place that I know at least that will, you know, stock these in my neck of the woods. Uh, they don't, like, they don't buy a lot of the product. They don't stock a lot of the product because it doesn't move a lot of it is because the distribution is so damn terrible. Um, so being a collector for Call of Duty Mega Constructs has been difficult, but it's nice to see that they're continuing the line. There are a bunch of new stuff. They've really, they've announced a new Heroes line, so that'll be Heroes Series 4. They've got, I think it's like another four battle packs, four or five battle packs coming out. Uh, they've announced a, like a little bird. So there's there's a lot more sets coming out, um, more heavily themed on the figures aspect, but still some building. Um, besides that, guys, I don't have a whole lot else to say about the video. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a great product. I'm really happy with this. I cannot recommend this enough. If you're looking for this, if you're on the fence, Get it, get it before it goes to third party prices. Uh, you can get it directly from Amazon with free shipping for $15. You literally cannot beat that. And I, I in no way can I, I, you know, I recommend that enough if you're interested in these types of sets. Um, besides that guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please leave me a like. It helps out a lot. If you're new to the channel or if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I release videos as soon as these figures are available. I have a lot more on pre-order. I've got about seven more sets. Uh, a few of them are coming out next week, so definitely stay tuned. But besides that, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.